Hey Body Positive Yogis, it's Amber Carnes from Body Positive Yoga, and I'm here today with Valerie, who is behind Big Gal Yoga. You've probably seen her on Tumblr and Instagram and places all around the internet. And so I'm really excited to get to talk to you today, Valerie. How are you? I'm doing good. How good. are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for your time and for talking to our uh, little community here. So um, first, I was wondering if you would just tell me your yoga story. How did you find yoga? How long have you been practicing? And what keeps you coming back? Um, How is it intertwined maybe like with the way you feel about your body, stuff like that? Um, well, I started yoga... Um at my university and I, I had wanted to do yoga back when I was like a freshman in, in college, but I kind of just blew it off and I just kind of wanted to do it just because, but eventually a handful of years down the line, I eventually, my friend, my best friend had taken the class and it reminded me that I wanted to take it. So I decided to take it, one of the classes there and um, it, I was really excited for it. And I was excited even like, even though I was struggling the first day um, that I had a good time doing it. And I think eventually during one of the classes when I had come in like really frustrated and I, just, I felt finally I went through like the whole flow and stuff and I felt really calm afterwards. So I've kind of felt like that was kind of the best. I felt like there was like a connection there with me with it. So I kind of just kept doing it and then it was very casual still. And then I eventually did, got like Groupon and I went to one of my local yoga studios and I started going there and I really liked it. And yeah, um, eventually uh, it was just kind of very off and on. And then eventually I kind of started, I, I started, um, I started my Tumblr for, um, cause my friend had asked me to be a maid of, maid of honor. And I kind of wanted to start that. I wasn't, it wasn't, I had set my attention of like, not like losing a ton of weight, but I would do it through kind of like casually do through yoga and stuff. So. That's kind of how I started off with, <laughs> with my yoga journey. Cool. So um, a lot of folks have been inspired by you uh, being visible online, practicing yoga as a bigger woman, as a woman of color. Um, can you talk a little bit about why, uh, maybe why you do that, why you're visible, and if you think uh, why diverse bodies are important to be seen uh, in yoga? Um. I mean, also, yeah, when I did start, I was trying to find, uh, I, it was very difficult for me to find people who were bigger. I actually found you, like, when I first started, and to, like, find a good, like, modification for um, the sun salutations. But, I, like, besides that, it was, like, it was very minimal. And so I think that was also when I made my Tumblr for that, that I wanted to be, because I know I, I eventually, I also saw a site called, like, the big, the big Girl's Life, The Big Girl's Guide to Life. Like it was a blog and I kind of was inspired by that. So I kind of wanted to do that for myself. And then, I mean, there is sometimes in through when I see through yoga that like it is very black and white, like kind of literally. So sometimes it's very, I'm, I'm half Filipino, half Mexican, and I don't see that many, um, that many Asians or that many Mexicans, but I'm still kind of like, in a way representing women of color, even though I've been very embraced by a lot of maybe like the black yogis and that's really, it's really great and awesome. But I also like want to encourage more of like other women of color, different, different ethnicities to try yoga for themselves. And I've come from like different communities of um, people who talk to me about um, eating disorders, like not just whether being um, a big person with an eating disorder, but someone who's, it gone through like anorexia or bipolar or <laughs> bulimia. And they've asked me like, how I, how do I find my confidence and how I, and they, they seem very, um, very inspired and, and just very happy that I'm even trying myself out there. And, yeah, for sure. So, um, so as you've been visible online in photos, you've posted pictures of yourself in various states of undress, uh, yoga clothes, you know, your underwear, um, you know, little yoga shorts and stuff like that. And I know you've probably gotten some negative feedback about your body from time to time. How do you deal with the haters on the internet? Um, uh, when I first started, I still started on Tumblr and kind of there is like a very safe place. 
And so I never really got really any haters there. And it was kind of easy to like kind of get by. And I only get like the one message and they're like, oh, you're fat. And I was like, yeah, I'm fat. So, <laughs> so that was like very extent to that. And, and I would, I knew that on Facebook would be very, I, I've seen a lot of the comments on people who like, who would share some of my stuff and you would get like the whole long list of like people, just like negative comments about talking about how I eat and assuming all these things. And it's just like, they, they can say all they want, but like, they literally don't know me. And like recently the one who was irritating me on, in, on Instagram is like, like the way she was talking, it was just like, she's talking like she knows me, but I don't, like, you don't know me. Like, you barely know me. <laughs> so right. it was just like, like, how could she assume that, like, of anything of me and the way I live? So yeah. I kind of just bounced off because I just, no one knows me. Like, I still am knowing, trying to know me. And it's like, I, don't, I just kind of mostly blow it off. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So um, tell me about what is one pose you love and one pose you totally hate? <laughs> um I'm definitely mermaid I like when I first tried that out it was after like I really like pigeon so trying that I thought it was just beautiful and I, I love mermaids mm-hmm. so, and um so I really love that pose and but the pose that, that I love the most is like um it's it's a tie between eagle and horse face like, oh yeah it's something about like a bind, like like my arm wrapping. Bind. Yeah, yeah. Like I can do it. Technically, I'm doing it, but like my boobs don't like it, and my arms don't like it. It's just like, okay, it's not working. Right, I and, hear you. <laughs> and it's just like, I tried like an hour trying to do that pose, and it just hurts so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not good. Um, so, what's one tip that you have for people who want to start and maintain a yoga practice? I know you have a really great resource for people that want to get started with yoga and I'll be including that um, in the post where we share the video, but what's maybe one tip that you have for people that want to get started with yoga? Um, Mostly I always have to remind people that you don't always have to be like strong or flexible to start and which is very hard to like ingrain into their mind a lot. And I'm, I'm mostly just kind of like, I have a, like a Tumblr post of like how to get into yoga and that's just like a list of, um, uh, the sun salutations and a bunch of links to like YouTubes and and also one to your link and then a half a half a yoga practice and then more extra videos. So that's all I can really feel like I give mm-hmm. to like want to start because that's just how I kind of started and I feel that's the most comfortable way to get into it without it being so. Oh, let's do a really intense vinyasa flow. And it's just like. Uh, and that's usually how it turns off people. So I just try to like something like ease people into it in a very gentle way. Yeah, definitely. That, that makes a lot of sense. I think, uh, I love what you said about that. You don't have to be strong or flexible to start. Cause I definitely, uh, when I, I'll tell my friends that I teach yoga or whatever, and they're like, Oh, I want to come to yoga, but I'm just not flexible. I'm like, but you get flexible coming to yoga. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of funny that circular backwards uh, logic that people have like so that's good advice yeah. um so tell us what you have coming up that uh other folks can participate in or something that you're excited about that you're working on or uh what's going on in your life that's good <laughs> at the moment I'm kind of like a little, little busy right now I have I'm an artist so I'm, I have I'm doing my my bachelor of fine arts and I know I have like an art show at the end and I'm kind of it's been years working on it, so I, I really need to work on that. But um, yoga-wise, um, I do – near May, I was going to start planning. I, I wanted to, like, do um, a Bay Area, like, Instagram meetup because mm. the place where I used to practice yoga, um, it's a big – it's a very, it's a private community center and there's a ton of space, like, two rooms that I, that I could use. And I wanted to have, like – talking with um, one of my local – um, yoga studios um, and they said that they wanted to collab with me on that so we're going to try to do a thing of like having a certain amount of people and then having like maybe some classes taught and this uh, it's, it's just very up in the air still but mm-hmm. I, um, I'm trying to do that what you would give for anybody that's watching this video um, what would you want to say to them um, well I guess I know it's always hard to like keep 
keep maintaining your your practice and stuff and we all get discouraged kind of things but always try to keep like staying positive and no matter what and try to find keep finding like a motivation i usually try to keep motivated by like trying to practice poses and that's usually how i stay motivated where i want to keep practicing and then keeps me motivated to keep going and also just the community of especially the instagram yogis is just really awesome to keep encouraging yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely well very cool well thank you for um posting your practice online i know it's been a really big inspiration for me and i love it when i see your images and um i love it when you post uh practicing on poses especially like uh, I know you've done videos on like compass pose and different things that, that like most people probably don't practice those poses a lot. And it's, you know, we get to see a lot of finished sort of perfect poses uh, posted everywhere. But it's really cool to see that kind of progress of like, this is how I'm working on stuff because I think that kind of stuff doesn't get posted a lot. So I just want to say personally, like, thanks for putting that out there. <laughs> wow. God, the people like it. Yeah. Because I know like, Sometimes when I, I posted photos, people were like, when I, when I was practicing handstand, people were always like assuming that I knew, already knew how to do handstand. I was mm -hmm. like, no, this is actually like a screen capture of me kind of getting into it. So I'd always have to like remind people that it was, <laughs> that I was like, I'm practicing it. I'm not, I'm not there yet. <laughs> right, right. So thank you so much for all your time today and for talking with our little community here. And uh, I hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the internet. <laughs> yes, you have a great day. Thanks.